Hey, happy Sunday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now, I'm going to give you the latest updates on what's going on with this storm system. You can see there's still a lot of flooding that is coming out of this system, and it is going to get stronger. This is taking a break. It's going to relief. You still got your flooding issue, but then it's going to ramp right back up again this afternoon. This is going to go all night long into the early morning hours and go towards Texas and Louisiana. So it's going to be another long night for certain people. It's not going to be across the whole country. There's going to be a lot of people in this warm. Morning. Plus our next system that is coming. We have another storm system coming, bringing severe weather already with that as well. So we'll give you all the latest updates if you've never been here before. Make sure you subscribe. I am all year long. Timestamps are always in the description to help save you time. There's a lot to discuss today, so we'll go through kind of quick. Now we'll do a model run and we can see what the models are hinting at what these storms are going to do for today. First, I want to show you some information. Thank you everyone for helping out with Alerting everyone to all the severe weather for yesterday, we have run across a lot of new people that didn't even know what was going on. So it was a blessing. Thank you all. Your likes, your shares do help out there. Now, unfortunately, I was watching Ryan Hall, y'all's live stream yesterday, and he does a great job. And there's many streamers and chasers out there that do a great job. And unfortunately, while it was going through Holdenville, through Sulphur, Oklahoma, mostly through Holdenville, we have lost a life yesterday during the tornado outbreak. So I will show you all the latest information. And no matter how much you try and help and alert others, we still have these issues. And I think we really need to jump on this in the future and help alert people across many channels. Just get the word out there so we do not lose any loss of life. That is just unacceptable. Now the storms are still going and yesterday, not just the 100 tornado reports we had on Friday. For yesterday, we had another 38 plus tornado reports as it went through Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri. We had tornado reports going all evening long for those strong winds aloft, just keeping the storms going all the way to the early morning hours. And you can see the whole grasp of the last two days when you look at this shot. This is all the tornado reports just in the last 48 hours, 138. Now, unfortunately, over here by Holdenville, Oklahoma, we have lost one life, unfortunately, while we had that tornado. So God bless the family of this loss. I pray that God gives you peace and brings some kind of comfort to your lives. I know this is really devastating this morning. God bless you. Now, this is the only shot we have of the tornado going through Holdenville, Oklahoma. This is the only picture we got. I know it is bad quality, but you can see the size of the tornado. Now, you do see the picture that Ryan Hall did post during his live stream. You see the debris ball as it was going through Holdenville. And this is a storm cell that caused all that chaos. And we do have a shot of the destruction as it went through Sulphur, Oklahoma. We can also see now the damage that was taken in Elkhorn, Oklahoma also. So these links are in the description below. Go support these guys. Go watch the video if this is your thing that you want to go see what, exactly what was going on with this destruction. There's other videos also on my ex. I did repost them. Make sure you follow me to get more updates. Now for today, we do have our severe weather risk and they have downgraded the tornadoes some. So we have a 2% and we have a 5%. There was a chance for strong tornadoes. They have taken that part away. So here's your cities and states at risk for the tornado threat for today. And this is going to go on through this afternoon. But you still have the winds pushing through, even starting to get some high winds as you go through at 15%. And at 30%. So here's your cities and states at risk for today for the damage of winds. You also got the hail threat for today. A 5% and a 15% down here in the south central. This is going to go all night long towards Louisiana until early in the morning. So here's your cities and states at risk for the hail threat for today. And National Weather Service has clusters of severe storms are possible through early tonight with the most concentrated threat for wind damage, large hail, and a few tornadoes from the Arklatex southward into East Texas. Now you can see your strong winds aloft. They start going away for this morning as the surface low pulls to the north. But once you go into the afternoon, you start to get winds aloft when these thunderstorms pass through Texas, going to Arkansas as you get this cluster of storms pushing through as you go through the evening. Then this portion right here is going to break apart and go all night long down Louisiana, while this portion carries to the northern side and 
brings you a little bit of threat for tomorrow as well. But all night long, that second group of storms down here in the south, this is going to go all night early in the morning for Louisiana and for tomorrow morning, then start dissipating and going away. Now you can also see a little closer look as you get in this big group of thunderstorms headed to the east and north. When you get that second round this afternoon, these cells are going to be the one to become potentially tornadic. Those are the ones that are really strongest on the significant tornado primers, the factor in dew points, wind shear, moisture, cape, everything in that atmosphere that you got to watch these storm cells. And as that heads to the north, you can see it loses its color. When it loses that red, it's just a green and yellow. That's a weakening of the, of the thunderstorms. But you can see these down here in the south, they're getting stronger in color and they're even getting that pink. And that's where you have it for all night into the early morning hours chances for tornadoes as that line goes all even along for a southeastern texas through louisiana bringing chances for damage and winds but also bringing a tornado threat and so far it's looking like the strongest threat will be in this region as you go through the evening you can see that with the color of those cells as those cells flare up all night all early morning you can see the color is dissipating up here, but it's stronger down here on the southern side where everything else was like a bowing out with some damage winds. So for Monday, your severe weather risk, you have that chance for tornadoes like I was showing you. You have a 2% risk. So far, here's your cities and states at risk. You also have the winds for tomorrow and the hail. I think the tornado risk is going to be the biggest risk. I think it could even get a slight risk over here for western Louisiana. But you can see where your damage and winds as those thunderstorms keep going to the north is getting a big pocket of high 50 miles per hour wind gusts. You're getting 40s to 50s. The yellow is the 50s. The darker the yellow, the higher the 50s. You can see it does go towards Illinois and miles down towards Indiana from Missouri, Oklahoma, Arkansas again. Then you got some strong cells that could possibly go from Texas into Arkansas bringing that 70 miles per hour wind gusts. Definitely bringing in the high 60s. And as you go all night long, for the Louisiana and southeastern Texas, it builds up 40 and 50 miles per hour wind gusts as well with these cells as they go all evening long. Plus, look at the chances for hail that has grown all day long. And I'm sure a lot of people in Texas and Oklahoma can verify this for you. A lot of chances for hail to fall down even through Kansas, northwestern Arkansas, through Missouri, a little bit through northern Illinois as you start going through the afternoon. Then you get that chance for the more potentials coming out for those tornadoes, bringing long trails going from Texas to Arkansas, also going through southeastern Texas, and more from northern Arkansas going through Missouri, northern Louisiana, and all night, all morning long, bringing hail threats with all these storm cells all evening. It's going to be another strong night all the way into the early morning hours and is bringing that flooding all the way till tuesday even a little bit more for wednesday for the north central the upper midwest for that next storm system that starts pushing through you see the northern side you're going to get an inch maybe a little more of rainfall the southern side you're still going to get another two to three inches more rainfall added to what you already had but showing also you're going to be getting some snowfall that's coming out of that Surface low as it builds towards Canada and what's coming for the next storm system starting to add up already. So as you go through tonight and tomorrow, maybe getting major snowfall coming in for eastern South Dakota, southeastern North Dakota, and northwestern Minnesota going into the UP of Michigan. Also showing it's starting to come in for the higher elevations of Washington and Oregon. Also for Idaho, western Montana, and western Wyoming. This is going to add up to some more. And you can see how bad your flooding issue really got with that storm. This is all the way till early this morning. You went all the way down to that high alert. Now this is going to grow again. For today, you have that slight risk going all the way up through northern Missouri. You do have the marginal going up towards Michigan. But this is where you're going to see the train of storms coming all the way for today it will be there for tomorrow as well and this is where it's going all night to the early morning hours bringing you chances for the flash flooding this is your slight risk you do have the marginal going all the way up towards ohio valley and the great lakes just be aware of that now as you go into tuesday it's going to grow again as we get our next storm system you do have a marginal but this is going to build everything's already saturated so by wednesday you have another big area and another big slight risk for flash flooding and thursday also this is going to keep on growing i think we could see a higher elevation of warning 
for flash flooding as we go through Wednesday and Thursday. And the Sunday storms might lag a little bit more into Monday. You can see as you go through Monday afternoon, as this storm system heads to the north, you get this big area of vorticity and atmosphere, some thunderstorms growing up, while you get an upper level low right next to that. That would bring some more vorticity and more severe weather on the southern side right next to that low pressure as that moves out for Monday afternoon. Then we get our next storm system coming in for Tuesday, bringing our severe weather and maybe even for Wednesday also, just growing all the way until Thursday morning. A big group of thunderstorms that goes up on a high ridge and gets a little bit stronger with your vorticity right there as you go overnight to early morning for Thursday. Then it pulls up some more storms with this. I think we have some more storms coming on the way. It's not just one or two days. And look how it strengthens as it goes by the UP of Michigan. This is becoming a strengthening low pressure, another cyclogenesis. And you can see the tail whip coming into the lower 48 bringing chances for severe weather as you go maybe into Friday. So I will give you the latest updates as they come in. I think this is going to be our next few rounds of storms. So as of right now, as we go into Tuesday, as that low pressure builds up, you got a 5% and a 15% for severe weather. Here's your cities and states at risk so far. And you can see here from National Weather Service that there will be a few stronger cells that will cluster close to that surface low. Chance for large hail, damage and winds, and possibly a tornado or two. But on the southern side of the tail of the storm, showing that it will likely decrease with your severe weather. And then here we are for Wednesday, a 15% severe weather risk as we keep getting those two systems coming in. Here's your cities and states at risk. This will be subject to grow some more, probably a little more northward. I will keep you updated. I know the video is a little longer than usual, and I apologize, but i got to show you everything that's going on. We have more cold air coming in. Remember, we had another shot coming possibly in May. This is going to be towards the western side of the U.S. and the upper Midwest, but it's bringing another major snowstorm. So you can see on your Arctic Oscillation, your cold air, we have a big dip coming in all the way until around the 3rd and 4th fourth of May. This is going to bring that cold air with it as well. Now you can see also that our EPL or East Pacific Oscillation, our jet stream on the West Coast is going to be taking a dip at that time. So while it's taking a dip, the eastern side of the U.S. is going to be on that higher risk just like what you see right here for your EPO. So that cold air coming in is going to be during that dip and bringing major snow. So far, the models are not trending with an agreement too much. You can see that little bit of snow according to the euro that's coming in. You see HRRR showing it as a little bit more. And you can see as that next snowstorm bring potentially one to two feet for the higher elevations of Washington and Oregon, Idaho, Wyoming, some of Montana, even eastern Wyoming and the higher elevations of Colorado getting in potentially on this snowstorm. And we look at the GFS. It shows a little bit more like what we've seen with HRRR on this first snowstorm. So the second one potentially could be correct, showing even heavier snow coming into Wyoming and Colorado, maybe even Nebraska, seeing some snow coming as we go through the beginning of May. And we got a lot to cover, so let's go through it and see exactly what the timing is on what these storms coming through. You can see the central time up here on the top left. As we go through noon and beyond, you still have the storms pushing to the northern side, but these storms down here on the southern side, these are going to start growing as you go through the afternoon. These are the cells that I warned you about and showed you the chances for significant tornado perimeters, also chances for large hail, showing as you go through the afternoon, 2 and 3 o'clock, some more storm cells going east of Waco, still going towards northeastern Texas by Texarkana and going into eastern Oklahoma, into Arkansas and Missouri by the time you go to 4 and 5. This shot right here is at 6 o'clock in the afternoon, potentially bringing a lot of storm cells with a lot of chances of large hail. This one right here even has the black in it. That is very large hail passing through. That's just for what's passing through for Texas at that time. We will have it also going through Oklahoma at that time. Same threat, all these large Hail cores, also chances for tornadoes. We even get a supercell that rogues out into Arkansas and starts molding down as it goes towards southern Missouri and northward. So you can see as you go through the evening, that is 6 o'clock, 
as you go to for the next hour still carrying on still bringing strong sales from oklahoma into fort smith arkansas springfield now starting to calm down you still got thunderstorms you got chances for small hail and damage and winds but the tornado threat is really going to start growing out down here in the south so here's your chances for your storms by seven o'clock as you keep on going remember this is going to go all night long eight o'clock still chances for large hail persistent through texas it is starting to weaken down a little bit towards shreveport it is starting to strengthen up a little bit towards fayetteville and fort smith for arkansas and springfield still got some hail cores passing through southern springfield according to this model run might even grow again as you go towards nine o'clock tonight bringing more chances for hail as you get this whole line of storms that's going to be on the northern side let me go through that real quick before the southern side because the southern side is going to be all night long so you have these storms just building up all night long, bringing you thunderstorms, bringing you some chances for damage and winds that come with that as you go all the way to 9 and 10 o'clock. You see it does persist through Michigan. It does come through Illinois pretty strong from Missouri. 11 and 12 o'clock. Now the storms are still going all night long, but now it's overnight, 4 o'clock in the morning. You're starting to get freezing rain. You're starting to get snowfall falling through, adding up to some pretty heavy snowfall. That is subject to vary a little bit. This is still a few hours away. That could still change just swallowing up that little piece of cold air. Now, as you go through tomorrow morning, these storms will pass by the UP of Michigan, going to Canada, looking at 7 o'clock and beyond. You just know what them thunderstorms are doing on the northern side. But on the southern side, they're going to start strengthening up and go further to the south. So as you go towards 10 and 11 o'clock, you still get those thunderstorms coming through Missouri, through Arkansas. And, uh, but once you have them from 11 o'clock, this is where it starts weakening for Missouri. Still strong for northern Arkansas, but look over here for Texas going into Louisiana. A big line of strong hail course potentially going through Huntsville and Woodville. Look, chances for large hail to come with that while it goes into Louisiana as well. All morning long, all the way till midnight. And as you go through the early morning hours, it's going to turn into chances for smaller hail and it's going to turn into a damage and wind threat. And you can see it leaves Arkansas at that time. You still have the hail cores all the way to 10 and 11 o'clock going from Arkansas into Missouri. But then it starts going further to the east. You have thunderstorms. You have chances for some slight damage and winds coming with that. That is about it then for tomorrow. But all night long for Louisiana, for Texas, this is going to go all the way to the early morning hours. Here you are at 3 o'clock. You still got these storms persisting through, going towards Beaumont. You got damage and winds pushing all the way from northern Louisiana into southern Arkansas. You got your hail cores on the southern side and chances for tornadoes as you go all the way to the early morning hours now. Still bringing hail all night, all morning, bringing the chances for the damage and winds going in towards Mississippi now for tomorrow so i hope this has helped you out there understand what is coming around the corner if you've never been here before make sure you subscribe i do videos like this all the time i know it could be a little long but i do put timestamps in the description to help save you time that way you don't need to go through the whole video if you don't have time to do everything or if just only part of it is only part of your concern which i understand thank you for your time please use the timestamps. i can't put these videos five minutes in go through all this information it would be impossible and i'm not going to make a video without sharing the information let you know what is coming you must know all the facts i appreciate everybody god bless everybody for helping and i hope you have a very blessed sunday today now before you go real quick james 5 14 through 16 is any sick among you let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him anointing him with oil in the name of the lord and the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another, and pray one for another, that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Amen. And remember, above all things, all glory goes to God. Our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I always hope he keeps you safe. You, your friends, your family, your enemies, your neighbors, everyone that you touch. And forever. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Have a great day. 
everybody. Thank you again for your time.